Ezra Miller's Flash movie, it's actually got a trailer now after pushback, after pushback, after assault, after assault. The Flash is actually getting his movie. And all I see people talking about is Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck. That's all people are talking about. People don't really seem to give a fuck about The Flash in his own movie. I've seen the trailer. Have you seen the trailer? I've seen the trailer. Yeah, look, here's my thing with this trailer. I I don't think I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse trailers, mm-hmm. especially when it comes to comic book movies. Uh, I thought the Black Adam trailer was fucking atrociously bad. I still haven't seen that movie. If I end up seeing this movie, I sure as shit ain't going to be paying for it. I mean, the, the, the whole thing's fascinating. Like, we have Ezra Miller, all the bullshit he's done. And it seems they've just gotten away with it completely, which is just mm-hmm. fucking wild within itself. And what's weird is when this trailer dropped, you go and look at the, a lot of the reactions, and it's extremely positive. Oh, look at the like-dislike ratio. You've got 121,000 up to 9.4 down. I I, I think, look, I didn't mind the trailer either. I, I you know, was sitting there, and I kind of liked the trailer. I thought it was good. The problem is, is that it is Ezra Miller. And with what he's done, are we really going to – support this movie i mean this movie definitely has like a no way home sort of feel to it in regards to bringing all the spider-men together um you know bringing toby back and bringing andrew garfield back in that you know with the obviously opening up multiverse or changing the different timelines in this uh trailer so i actually personally think that this movie is going to do really well in the box office and i think that it's going to do really well because of Ben Affleck and because of Michael Keaton, not because of the Flash or Ezra Miller, so to speak. But I don't know. I like again. I sat there and I watched it. I thought it was good. I'll, let's watch it. Let's watch well, before it. Before we do that, just on the subject of that, you mentioned No Way Home. I think No Way Home. I still haven't seen it. Uh, it actually works a little bit better because, okay, Michael Keaton, like that's member berries for like my dad. Right, that's not really member berries for me. You know, if you wanted to do my member berries, you would have gone bail. Uh-huh. That's probably the one. But I don't think people like my dad or my dad's generation are going to look at this and go, oh, "I have to go see this because it's Michael Keaton." I remember mm. Michael Keaton. Like something like Tobey Maguire, I think works better because it's not as old. You know, it's Keaton's still- my generation though as well. Is it member berries for you? Like, are you looking at this going like, "Oh, yay"? I love Michael Keaton as Batman. So I, in a way, I sort of am. Like, the nostalgia is definitely there. And I felt it when I saw it in the trailer. Yeah, the I'm Batman. Yeah. That was bringing it back. And the way that he dove down. Let's watch it. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another. Looks like Ben Affleck's. That does not look like Michael Keaton's cow. And actually, I reckon this image leaked about a year ago. This I don't remember from, seeing that. But this looks you, very you familiar probably, to me. You you track this more than I do, but I agree with you. I reckon that's athlete. And it's a good way to get rid of him as well. That's athlete. Definitely. And a lot of people thought that was Bale. But it is athlete. In the blue as well, which is cool. Yeah, well, it works. Until later, you'll see where it does. We're going to stay and fight to save this one. Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not going to lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people. Weird how Flash's Whoa. first movie is a Flashpoint movie. Drawn to each other like... Isn't it? Magnets. My face. You saw my face. So I'm going to ask, is that yellow Flash? What? Oh, the... Oh. Like, I, <laughs> this is the thing. I don't know... Sorry, I, sorry. No, no, you mean the actual character. Yeah. Um, 
No. So I, I, yellow flash no. is an evil flash, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's not. Okay, I like because I don't know. I don't know the Flash character all that well, so that's why I had to ask because he's also wearing yellow. So I did, that's why I thought possibly. I think um, isn't Zoom the villain in this? Uh, I'm not even sure. I don't even think they actually show the villain. Oh, they show Zod. Yeah, but they're not going to make him the main villain again, are they? I don't know. Hey. If you were to go into the past. But yeah, that's Wayne Manor. Deal what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix Flash it. ring. We could also destroy this ben. everything. This can't be happening. Oh, that's odd. So that's Man of Steel. Broke so he's in like the Man of Steel what? timeline. Yeah. So but this is a crazy thing steel. too about like obviously getting rid of Henry Cavill and bringing all of this in and still doing this. And then they've got to try and tie it into some new... What they're going to do is, and he says he's accidentally created a world without metahumans, even though I wouldn't classify Superman as a metahuman, he's an alien. Mm. But it's saying that in this timeline, Superman or Kal-El never Doesn't crashed exist. on Earth. Yeah. Instead, it's Kara. Yes. Yeah, and it girl. looks like the government has Kara locked up or some shit. So I'm guessing Zod tracked Kara to Earth, and that's how he found Earth. Right. Okay. I know, that's a stretch. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. What's the car? This is awesome. I'm sorry, it really is. Oh. You're. You are. Yeah. I'm Batman. And that, yeah, that's probably the best part. Yeah. That's awesome. That's that if I can't undo what I did, if I can't get back, there might not be a future. See, that looks shit. Like, ben Affleck's know. wearing a bra. Die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I, I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are going to want to see this. Isn't so I actually to be feel blonde? bad for her. I feel bad for her. Like, yeah, it's she's supposed to be blonde, and it is a full blown race swap. Mm. Um, but everything I've seen of her, she seems like really sweet, you know, very wholesome. And there's that tra- there's that photo with her, like her boobs hanging out and cool and all that cool stuff. But I do feel bad for her because you know she's been cast as Supergirl, Kara Zor El. You're like, oh shit, yeah, big times. And then James Gunn just comes out going, yeah, recasting everyone. I did like this bit where the ah. bit. that kind of looks cool, and even that shot looked cool. Ben Affleck in the blue looks really cool until you yeah. see that he's wearing an armor bra. There was there might not be- did when we- he's sliding. No. I think it's yeah. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah, look at that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. And it looks very CGI, doesn't it? <laughs> very CGI. I'm cool it with is the a blue. Quick snapshot. The blue looks good, but what the fuck is going on with that armor? Yeah. Don't like that at all. And his face looks. <clears throat> like I said, though, I feel like this movie's going to do really good because it's got Affleck and because it's got Keaton in it. Uh, it's not really too much to do with, like, the Flash being a part of it. I don't like the fact that there is no Superman personally. Um, and that's really my thoughts on it. I, I Like I said, I actually think that this is going to be a bit like DC's version of Spider-Man No Way Home. I can also see, though, the way it's gonna how a lot of people just won't care 
because James Gunn has come out and been like, this is my DC slate. So yeah. where does this fit into that? And his DC slate is fucking horrible. It's so, so bad. Like bringing in, like, okay, when Marvel bought in the Guardians of the Galaxy, I will say they took a little bit of a risk because they're using characters that nobody really knew. But people came out after that movie and they loved the way that those characters were. They loved the dynamic between them, the chemistry between them. They loved that movie. Like Guardians of the Galaxy 1 is a really good movie. I love it. But the way that he's bringing in so many different movies and so many different characters that nobody knows, it's too much. You should be establishing at least the the trio, the, you know, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and then around that, bring in some unknowns and try and incorporate those into that story where it almost seems like he's trying to bring in all the unknowns and incorporate the big, well, like the A-grade characters into their stories. It's just, I don't know, James Gunn's announcement was stupid. This movie, I think, is going to do well just because of... The, the way it is, the nostalgia that's in it, the teasing of the of Ben Affleck and and Michael Keaton. Um, obviously, people know Flash, and I, I uh, the normies out there aren't going to care about Ezra Miller and the shit that he's done off camera. And- I, I I think um, surprisingly, there's when this trailer dropped, there was actually a lot of positivity. It's almost like people just kind of forgot about Ezra which is really bizarre but whatever and I mean like there are times where you can separate art from artists I mean I like Christopher Walken and he's a fucking murderer he killed that chick all right but what Ezra's done is a little bit different you know once you start involving like children and shit like that it just gets a bit weird especially when he's supposed to be marketing superhero movies and all that stuff and being on the run from cops he's a weirdo he is a weirdo Yep. I, I Look, don't know. I, I don't I don't actually think the movie is going to be great. I think at best it'll be oh my god, Michael Keaton's part was really cool. But I if I remember the leaks correctly, they kind of screw Michael Keaton really fucking badly from the from the leaks. Now these leaks could be bullshit, me. but I swear that shot of the cow on the ground was in the leaks. And it's kind of a way to get rid of Ben Affleck as well mm. and a way to screw over Michael Keaton. Well, I'm sure Affleck's happy about it. Well, he's out, so he doesn't mm. give a fuck. From yeah. memory, it's Michael Keaton basically at the end being like, oh, my God, Supergirl. Oh, so good. So good, Supergirl. Like, you should be in charge of everything. But what does that then do to Barry's original timeline, the one that he came from, the one that does have Superman and no Supergirl and does have Ben Affleck? Like, they're better. This is where I think you're right. It's going to be a really bad movie, but it's going to perform really well. I guess you could destroy that whole thing because that would be all like Zack Snyder, Joss Whedon, James Wan. um, Yeah. What's his name? Fucking David Ayer. Every yeah. movie they made, you can just wipe off the board now. Yeah. But at the same time, now you've brought in Michael Keaton. So now we're, it's like when they brought in um, Toby Maguire. It's like, so now we have the Sam Raimi universe is connected to the MCU. So now it's like, oh, okay. So we have um, the Michael Keaton universe is also connected now. Mm. It gets gets complicated. It gets confusing. It gets confusing. And then on top of that, let's not forget that Batman Brave and the Bold is going to have a whole new Batman, which is adjacent and in a separate timeline to the Robert Pattinson Batman, which also all of that has nothing to do with the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. This is where the normies are going to tap out. They're going to get too confused by it, whereas with the MCU and at least the 10 years that they did up until the Infinity Wars you know, Infinity War movie, people were able to track it and they they were able to watch each movie. It gave you the post credit scene, which then rolled into the next movie and the normies were able to get it and understand it. Whereas with this, it is all over the place, like you're saying. Pattinson Batman isn't connected. The Joker isn't connected. 
So the normies aren't really going to understand that. And they're going to be like, what's going on here? Why am I seeing this? Why is that happening? Why is this going on? That's going to be an issue for them. It's already an issue for me. I'm struggling to keep up with it. Yeah. Anyway, you got, that was that. You got, two, you got three different Batman all in different universes mm. in the DC slate. So good luck, viewer. Good, good luck. luck. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.